This is my first in Germany. And it never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> the passion of these fans, you know, they just, they, first of all, they know more about the movies than I do. And uh, it's just a wonderful sort of energy that they bring. You know, I think it's fascinating that, uh, you know, even when there isn't a movie out, each year just becomes bigger. You know, there, there is this sort of more enthusiasm for Star Wars uh, and it builds whether there's a film or not. And uh, Celebration is a lovely way for the fans to come and kind of literally celebrate Star Wars and all things surrounding Star Wars. You must listen to what the fans are saying because they have, I think, the answers. They are the ones that will tell most of the story. Ideas will come from fans because they have their own vision of what it's all about. At its heart, it's a very simple story of, of, of good versus evil and human spirit and, and all of those things. And I think that resonates with, with people around the world, whoever you are and whatever your background is. You can tap into that very basic sort of set of principles. What did you think when you heard that Star Wars was coming back as Episode 7? I, I, I was excited and astonished, I think, as everybody else was. Um, but it's great that Disney are going to take it forward and uh, do it differently because things always have to change and that George has released it to be done in that way and in fact positively encouraged it. It had never occurred to me, and this is why I could never be a, a writer of stories or anything, that that would happen. I thought it would die when George retired and so on. It never occurred to me that there was this torchbearer that we've known all these years mm. who has taken it and is moving very, very rapidly to share Star Wars on an even, frankly, on an even wider basis than before. Like all good storytellers and master of suspense, uh, neither Disney or George will give anything away before they're ready to, and nor would we want them to, we want to spoil it. You don't suddenly want to know that Darth Vader is Luke's dad, do you? But there are corners of the globe as yet unapproached by <laughs> C-3PO.